March can be a magical month in Maine. The days are getting longer, the sun is getting higher, and there are still pretty good snowstorms, so the skiing can be particularly great in March. We've recently gotten a couple of great coastal snowstorms, and I've been trying to get up to Northeast Harbor to ski on the carriage trails. Um, unfortunately, the recently the snowstorms have not been great enough where we can go backcountry skiing and hike up Acadia, but uh, hopefully that'll be for another day. But there is a organization that grooms some of the carriage trails and I'm super excited to try to get some skiing in on those beautifully groomed Nordic trails. It's also the start of the Axopar season. So I'm standing on a 37 Axopar right now. I'm just kind of getting things sorted and ready to go for my family to show up here in a few minutes. Um, we're gonna load up and head to Northeast Harbor to go skiing. All right, so we are just about to shove off and get underway. Um, we're in full winter mode here with the boat. So we've taken all the exterior cushions off the boat just because we're not going to be hanging out outside too much. We've got our uh, Nordy skis, our skinny skis up on the hard top here. And yeah, we're about to shove off. I'm going to just int you guys, introduce you guys to the, to the crew here. We have added an additional roommate um, this year. So here we go. This is Caroline. You may recognize Pippa from previous videos. Can you say hi, Pippa? Hi. And this is our latest roommate, which is Wally, a baby girl we had uh, a couple months ago. She's four months old now. So um, here's the crew, and we'll give you guys a, you know a little tour later on. But um, we're just gonna shove off and and start headed to Northeast Harbor. It is 2:15 now, so we're anxious to start getting some miles underneath us. All right, so we're gonna get offshore power here. Right here, just shut off all the loads. One thing I always talk about how much I love about these axe bars is just the ability to run the boat. Shorthanded makes life so much easier, particularly when you got a couple of kiddos on board. So you, you can do a little divide and conquer situation. The lines that come with the axe bars are really long, which I kind of like because you just have to deal with fewer, fewer lines. Um, so I just sometimes tie up with just two lines and double use a one line as a spring and a bow and another as a stern and a spring. Say, so what are we going to go do? Are we going to go for a boat ride? Yeah. Can you say boat ride? Boat ride. All right, so we're just going to throttle up here. Um, we've got about a hundred nautical mile run, um, uh, a little less than a hundred nautical mile run, I think like 95 or so from um, from Harpswell up to Northeast Harbor. And we're just gonna start and get pedal up here. Here we go. So of course, weather is always a great variable. Um, I'll put up on this video right now uh, what the forecast was this morning. Um, this time of year, headed to our Northeast Harbor direction from Harpswell, it's right on the nose. Typically, it's where you're going downhill on the way to Northeast Harbor and then uphill on the way back, but um, that's just for the summertime. And so we're anticipating this, this trip taking a little bit longer than normal, uh, just because we're expecting to have to slow down uh, to get into, um, uh, as we get it into the head sea. So we'll see what it's like. Um, obviously keeping it as comfortable as humanly possible for the wee, the wee ones. Uh, Caroline and I were just talking yesterday. This is actually today's, uh, today's Wally's first boat ride ever. So uh, she's in for quite an interesting one. So because that's a little bit of an unknown, we're just anticipating having to take it a little bit easier. Um, uh, going into uh, a heavier sea condition. So we'll see what it's like. And um, obviously it's beautiful in this hurricane hold right now. And we'll check in in a little bit.
And this is uh, Pippa's favorite part of the trip. We've slowed down a little bit uh, for snack time. Pip Pip, is it snack time? Um, and Wally's going to have a little pit stop as well, a little snack time. Um, so we've slowed down just to 16 knots in the lead of this island here, um, just so we can do a little refuel underway. And then we'll be thrall back up and continue on. What do you say, Pip? Is that the best snack you've ever had? At 15 knots? Yeah. Good. Boat ride. Boat ride. We're on a boat ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wawa. Wawa. Yeah. Yeah. Wawa's getting a snack, too. Snack time's coming to an end, so we are going to go ahead and throttle up. Back up to speed here. So this is actually a really cool little cut that you can go through uh, between Burner and Allen Island. It's a beautiful little throughway. So I don't know if you can see in the ca in the camera, but this is a beautiful little village, um, and just quintessential old Maine New England boat buildings here. Looks like they're pretty well put to bed for the winter time, but love coming in through here. And we're gonna throttle back up and continue on. So we're coming up on Rockland here and um, doing about 24 knots or so. Um, that seems to be just a, a comfortable speed for the, the crew here. Right, Pip Pip, you happy? Yes, okay. So we're cruising along at a nice 24 knots. And um, we, again, we just continue to hug the coastline here and stay, stay as close to the coastline as possible. The further offshore you get, the more sea state and breeze that you'll, you'll have given the wind direction and everything. So, um, but we're just cruising along nicely. It's about 4, 4.15 or so. So we'll get in a little after dark. Um, we may stop again beforehand and maybe cook dinner somewhere along the way, but we're just kind of figuring out as we go. So here we are, you know, a good 34 knots um, up by Spruce Head. Super protected in here. The ladies have just finished up reading a book. Wally's just hanging out. Pretty cozy in here. Uh, this diesel heater obviously has been awesome. It's about 35 degrees outside, so um, certainly mission critical having that diesel heater. Yeah, things are really nice and smooth. You can see how nice and protected things are in here. So we're just going in here and then we're gonna cut in through uh, Vinyl Haven and North Haven. Just kind of sneak our way in into here. So pretty glassy right now and pretty sweet. So we're coming in. This is uh, Vinyl Haven off to our starboard, North Haven off the port. So we're going through the thoroughfare here. Got my co-pilot. Can you say hi? That's a camera. So yeah, we're making great time. Very relaxing. Doesn't get much more glassier than this. Just beautiful. Jeez. So I don't know if you can see this, but the sun's setting, it's a beautiful sunset right now. And you can see the snow-capped mountains of Acadia over here. This is just so, so cool. Pippa is running around. We're cruising around at 30 knots and, um, and yeah, this is pretty special. Quite a special evening here. So we got Grand Cam uh, Cranberry Island just off to our bow here. And we've got a beautiful sunset here. Really awesome. Just got some ocean swells off to our starboard, but the second half of the trip has been much, much calmer just because we stuck it uh, inside, the, uh, inside the lee of all the islands. So uh, very close to Northeast Harbor, crank along, and it's almost dinner time. Good bit, you say, oh baby. Caroline made us a lovely dinner. Chicken, broccoli, pesto, pasta. Pip, Pip, is that good? Is that good, Pip? 
Yeah. Good. Two cheers. Cheers. Ready? <laughs> cheers. Cheers. So it's a beautiful morning here in Northeast Harbor. Um, it's about 30 degrees here, uh, but it's gonna warm up beautifully to into the low 40s for our Nordic trip. I'm just getting organized and settled uh, this morning. Uh, Caroline's gonna make us some breakfast and then um, we're gonna start headed to the trails. So uh, we had an amazing night last night. Uh, the lady slept super well and uh, that diesel he heater kept us all nice and cozy. But it's a beautiful bluebird day here in Northeast and we're excited for the day. What do you see? What's, what's going on out here, Pip Pip? What's going on? Yeah. What's that? Is that a boat? What is that? Big boat. What do you want to do today? Go for walk. You want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. Want to have a snack first? Yeah. Okay. What else do you want to do? Or snack. Okay. We can handle all that. Wally, what do you want to do today? <laughs> oh, baby. So we're just getting the ski stuff ready to go. Got our Nordic gear. This is for the Thule Chariot. This sucker here, and these are the skis that we'll put on. We've got to walk like a, it's like a mile, mile and a half. So we're going to do it on land mode for just the, uh, for when we walk to the head of the trails. And Pip Pip is all ready to go. How you doing Pip? You, you happy to be outside? Yeah. yeah. Having fun walking around on the boat? Yeah. Yeah, so it's safer for Pippa to be walking around in the boat than hanging out on the dock, so she's just, hanging out. Caroline's getting some food and stuff like that ready to rock and we'll be off to the races soon here. So we just got back from our ski adventure. If you ever have the opportunity to ski at the carriage trails, I highly recommend it. It was absolutely phenomenal. But uh, we are right now uh, just getting the kiddos back comfortable, little snack time, and we're gonna head back to uh, Harpswell. So we're gonna start packing things up now. Uh, just packed up the boat after our amazing ski. Caroline is just getting Wally ready for a little nap session and Pippa is sleeping right now in the aft cabin. So she'll have a good, nice sleep on our trip. The weather kind of is what it is. Um, a little bit breezier than we expected, but frankly, it doesn't really matter. It's all downhill. So uh, we're just gonna crank on to Hartswell and have a beautiful ride. So um, we'll check in in a little bit here. Pippa just woke up from a two and a half hour nap. We are nearly back. We've got Boothay Harbor off to our starboard beam here. Seguin Island right over here. One great thing about just the ergonomics of the pilot house with the forward leaning windshield is that we're pretty much heading directly into uh, the sun, which is way up there. Um, but because it's a forward leaning windshield, we're much more in the shade, so uh, when you're going in the summertime towards the end of the day straight uh, into the sunset it's much more doable um, you're not dealing with the glare and the sun as nearly as much because you have much more sun coverage from this forward leaning windshield so that's super super awesome um, but you know we're cruising around a very leisurely pace where uh, 3,800 ish RPMs uh, at 28 knots, getting about 1.4 and a half, uh, 1.45 knot miles per gallon. Um, but we haven't really filmed much of the trip because on the way home, because the ladies have all been sleeping pretty much. Um, 
Wally is still sleeping, but it's been a super low-key, easy, and fun, fun miles uh, headed back home today. So, how's your snack, Pippa? Is your snack good? Yeah. yeah. You say surf's up? Pip? Surf's up. Yeah. We're probably, I don't know, less than an hour out. So, check in in a minute. So these are pretty good following sea conditions on the Axapar. Um, I've got the throttle set um, to about 3800 RPM. So right now we're climbing up a wave. Um, and you can see we've got uh, just some strolling happening in this area, which has the waves stack up pretty good. I've just got the trip tabs all the way up and we're cruising along at a good 26 knots so we just want to go just faster than the waves so we're overtaking the waves and the waves aren't overtaking us and we can surf on through so it looks like we're through it now. So just putting the boat to bed after an absolutely epic weekend skiing uh, with the family it was we just had the best ride back. Um, the ladies pretty much slept the whole way and Caroline and I were just able to kind of do a little bit of a recap and again if you have the opportunity to go ski at the carriage trails in Northeast Harbor I highly recommend it. It was absolutely spectacular but um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions for us please do feel free to reach out using the information below this video.